What's up you guys? Today I'm going to talk about something that at first you might be like, uh, is that really true? That sounds crazy. But I'm telling you, once you understand what you imagine, imagines you. That what you imagine transforms not just you as a person, but it shapes your environment as well. And then your life will never be the same. Trust me, it'll never be the same. You see, Neville Goddard teaches that your life, whether you realize it or not, expresses what you're imagining. Your world, yep, all the conditions of your life, are the outpicturing of your state of consciousness, of what's going on inside. In other words, your world's a mirror, folks. It's a manifestation of your mental activity. As within, so without. Let that sink in. But here's the thing. Neville points out that your imagination tends to move according to habit. Okay, that it follows certain definite patterns. Call it your habitual consciousness, your habitual thoughts, which then leads to your habitual actions, your mechanical behavior, which is why you keep doing the same things over and over again, even if you don't want to, right? Because it's subject to your inner behavior, your inner habits. What Neville's trying to say is, is that if you don't control your imagination, then guess what? Your imagination will control you. Straight up, it'll control you. So, how do you escape it? How do you control your imagination in order to get what you want? It's actually simple, you guys, so don't be discouraged. You're able to manifest what you want by changing your inner self, by replacing your inner conversations. That's it. You change your inner patterns, you change your outer world. Think about it. What are you telling yourself most of the time? Seriously. Do you constantly say things like, I'm so stupid, I can't do it, no one loves me, making money's hard, I always get sick. I always attract the wrong person. Always imagining the worst. No more. Enough of that. Shoot, if life's a mirror, don't be surprised with your current reality. You gotta die to self, Neville says, where you shed the old and you put on the new. Meaning, you detach your imagination from your present state, the state you don't want, and you match it to the state you do want. You match your inner speech and action to the speech and action of your fulfilled desire. Because you could say all the right words and affirmations out loud and physically do all the fancy techniques that you learn out there. But if your imagination, your inner speech, isn't matching your fulfilled desire, then you're wasting your time. Nothing's going to stink and change. Why? Because imagination always wins. It always wins. Don't ever forget that. Again, you want to change your outer world? Then change your inner world first. That's the secret. Look, I hate to break it to you. But there's no external God out there who's going to save you, okay? Wake up, you guys. Remember, you are the operant power. So stop looking outside yourself, for goodness sake. You know what'll save you? I am is what'll save you. God, your imagination is what'll save you. How? You claim it. For instance, I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am enough. I am awesome. Claim yourself to be the thing you desire. Imagine it. Live in the end, despite what your senses tell you. And keep repeating it over and over again until when? Until it feels real. Until it feels real. And then here's what's going to happen. Check it. Not only will your old habits freaking die, but Neville says that if you remain faithful to your desired state, your fourth dimensional self will find ways for the attainment of your end. Did you get that? Your acceptance of the end your experience of the end in imagination wills the means because you get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to help support this channel and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and, of course, help spread this message. And yo, don't forget to register for my free online training. That'll seriously help you to start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. Link's in the description. Like I always say, more is coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.